and just talk because I think it's so therapeutic to just put up a camera, talk to you. I don't know, I feel like it makes me connect with you more. To start off with trends, I think a huge, huge trend is lemon yellow. Now, a lot of you guys who have seen my previous video where I unboxed a special something that I bought for myself know that I have bought a lemon yellow colored handbag and it's a Bottega bag not too long ago. And I'm kind of happy that this lemon yellow trend is really like a thing now because it's like now I can finally wear my bag, you know, safely when it's good to go out and stuff like that. So I'm excited about the lemon yellow trend. I'll tell you which designers. Oh, the Fendi show. Okay, so I saw hints of lemon yellow in the Fendi show. My post on Instagram that day I was watching the Fendi show and ton of lemon yellow accents. And yeah, lemon yellow is a huge trend. Now, another trend that I'm seeing is mixing neutrals with color. Sorry, ignore that. The so mixing neutrals with color. Now, this is the season that we saw just now was spring, summer 2021. But, you know, now it's fall, it's time for neutrals. And I feel like that trend of mixing colors with neutrals is really gonna start now. And in fact, that's something that I've kind of, kind of done today, but not really. Um, I put like a brown lip and I wanted to make my lip really, really just like neutral, fall, moody but I'm wearing actually like, oh, can you see? Like lime green St. John shorts. And then this is a like dark green Bardot top. To kind of like give you a background, for the last few months, I think people have been really into like these monochromatic looks, but like two different tonalities of a color. So like a really dark blue with like a really light blue or even if it's like makeup, they'll do like a really light blue makeup and a really dark blue top or something like that. And that's something that I've also been doing. But I, I think now it's going to be like, okay, do that, but do that and mix some neutrals in. I just think like those are two main trends. And yeah, I think what else do I want to talk to you about? Now let's go on to life updates because I feel like trends like those are a thing. Yes, cool, nice. Oh, one more thing. There are some really cool shoe trends that have already started that are continuing on so I think a nice architectural heel and by that I mean like maybe the heel is a circle or like a spear or it's like a zigzag like a really interesting dimension to a heel is really trendy right now and I think Jacquemus does it best in fact I actually just bought a pair of Jacquemus shoes and I'm not going to reveal it on this YouTube video so you guys stay peeled on my Instagram because I'm the prop I'm prop <laughs> I'm probably going to post it on there. And yeah, I'm just really excited about it. In fact, maybe it goes with today's outfit. So maybe I shoot it with this outfit. Let's see. Now let's move on to life updates. So I actually just felt a need to record this YouTube video because I've been feeling a little bit out of sorts. I think, I think everyone has these past few months. But in particular, I haven't been feeling like my best self for a long time. I think even longer than quarantine. When I graduated college, I took the decision to take Style by Malvika full time, which, you know, I graduated a year early so that I could do that and take that year to kind of just like really work on scaling my business. And like, thankfully, by the time I did graduate, I was, it was already a business and I was already making like decent money and um, able to kind of do a little bit with it um, and then just grow it. So I've been, you know, focusing on that, but I've been like back home with my family. And I think I love my family. I love that they're so supportive and I love that they're always there for me. But I think what happens is when I was so independent and so like so much of myself was being explored and discovered, my sense of fashion and my enthusiasm for fashion and beauty was just at another high. It was amazing. It was at an all time just, I think I was way more inventive, way more creative and everything being on my own. I wasn't scared to take risks, I wasn't scared to create different kinds of content, I wasn't scared to put myself out there even. And I think what happens when you come home is you become very comfortable. You become very like 
not, I don't want to say complacent, but you just get really comfortable. And I know for me, I'm my best self when I'm challenged and when I'm on my own, when I have my own freedom. So I've been searching for an apartment for these past few months. Um, the thing is, is I'm a little bit unsure about if right now is the right time to move in because of COVID and just because the whole moving logistics process, I know it's a lot of work, it takes a lot of time and I want to do it at a time that's right and also that's safe because if I'm moving to the city, like closer to where more cases of COVID are, um, it's going to be a little bit more risky and I'm very risk averse, I mean I wouldn't say I'm risk averse, but like when it comes to health, I'm very careful so I just, you know, I hope I can find the right time. I know exactly where I want to move, what apartment complex, where it is. And I, I already have started pulling inspiration from Pinterest, but I guess we're just going to have to wait. I think the leasing agent is kind of down my back. She's like, are you going to, are you going to get it? I'm like, mm -hmm. I want to, but maybe not now. So that's one thing. My relationship with fashion and beauty in, you know, these past few months, I've been talking about like, oh, I've been telling you guys like, oh, it makes you feel your best self. It makes you do this X, Y, Z. But like, I haven't been feeling that way for a really long time. And I used to feel that way when I was alone in college. But then when I came home, honestly, all I really want to do was like stay in my gym shorts and a t-shirt. And it's very rare that I would have those days that I felt inspired to just do makeup and, and fashion beauty just because I loved it. I think it started feeling like a little bit of a chore for me. I, like, I don't know if many of you guys know, but I create content for other apps as well and like other platforms and other brands. So getting up and getting ready is like a part of my job daily. And I was starting to really dread it. And then I just started listening to podcasts, reading books and filling my mind with a lot more positive thoughts. And that really, 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 really helped. Today I got up and I did not have to record this YouTube video. I did not have to do any of the content that I did today. I just did it because I wanted to. And I think that's where I want to be as a creative. Like, obviously you need to like, you know, make money, do the things that bring you money. That's there. But at the same time, like, I want to feel that those sparks of inspiration. And I feel genuinely that if I'm out on my own, that spark will come to me quickly. And also I think I'll be better around everyone else and the best version of myself. So that's a little bit about just a life update. I hope you are finding your ways to get inspired during this lockdown period. I know it's really difficult and I know I'm so, so blessed because like, <laughs> look at me, I'm complaining about living with my family. I love my family. I'm so blessed and I'm so grateful that I, you know, have a roof over my head, have food on the table, have people that love me and support me. I just wanted to give you guys a life update and just kind of like how I'm feeling. But I hope that, you know, despite all the hardships that the world is going through right now or you may be going through that you find ways to kind of spark that inspiration for yourself so you feel like you can be your best self um, and again my tips are podcasts reading motivational books and um yeah filling your mind with positivity and when negativity enters your mind try not to talk about it i'm not saying like you know i actually do therapy so like if you need to do therapy that's like good i'm not saying don't talk about things that you're going through I'm saying don't allow yourself to get caught up in a negative cycle. Fill your mind with more positive thoughts. Keep th thoughts, thoughts. Keep a gratitude journal. I do that. I share that on Instagram stories with you guys all the time. And it has really helped me. So I would say positivity is the key theme of this video. And in terms of trends, again, architectural heels, lemon yellow, and monochromatic looks with neutrals. I think those are the three trends. Alright guys, I'm going to sign off. I just wanted to have a chat because it's been a while since I uploaded a YouTube video and I'll see you in my next one.